Hi, I'm Eric Kaufman. And I was reflecting on a conversation I had with a client of mine in executive coaching. This client was very excited because he just got promoted. Awesome. Obviously the result of our executive coaching. There's no other explanation to it. Um, he actually became the general manager. He went from a senior vice president to GM. He was now running a billion point three dollar operation. So the, he got promoted the week after he got promoted. He was excited the week after that. We had a conversation. He's freaked out. He's like literally besides himself with anxiety. By the way, that's not a natural, right? Because there's nothing quite like promotion to immediately highlight the level of your incompetence. You got promoted because you were very good at what you did, right? You solve problems, you lead people, you strategize, you are able to drive for results, you connect well to the team and the organization, you develop other people. Congratulations, those are all wonderful qualities. Promotion. Now you are at the next level. And as Marshall Goldsmith wrote in his wonderful book, what got you here won't get you there. Promotion is equal and immediate incompetence. Not that you're not good, but you are not quite trained and ready for the new role. What's happening is you're out of your comfort zone. And it's that sensation of being out of the comfort zone that freaks us out. The comfort zone is not all bad. The comfort zone is where we can relax. The comfort zone is where we can do things sort of automatically and without a lot of effort. The comfort zone is where we conserve energy. The comfort zone has become the comfort zone because we practiced and worked and cultivated the ability to do well within that sphere, whether it's your job, your role in the family, your role in the community, whether it's a sport, whatever the case might be. The comfort zone, after a while though, is also a cage. It's a sphere of limitation. Within the comfort zone, things are predictable, things are known, things are safe, things are familiar, they're not dangerous. But you know what else is not in the comfort zone? Potential. What else is not in the comfort zone? Possibility. What else is not in the comfort zone? Change. What else is not there? Growth. Potential, possibility, change, and growth. Folks, that's what leadership's about. And so, leadership begins at the end of your comfort zone. And the next zone beyond the comfort zone is the growth zone. As a leader, it is your responsibility to traverse past the edges of the comfort zone into the growth zone. Guess what? You don't just get to do it as a leader individually, because if you're doing it on your own, you're not a leader, you're just an adventurer. You get to do this in concert and with other people. And so your role is to help move organizations out of their comfort zone into the growth zone. If you go a little too far, it's called a panic zone. People freak out over there. Come back to the growth zone. Inherently, we call that change agent. Your primary role is to look at what's coming and what's possible, to assess what you have and what's going on, and to navigate the distance between what is and what can be, moving from the comfort zone to the growth zone until the growth zone becomes a new comfort zone. That's being a change agent. For that, you have to have the metal, the courage, the focus, the grit, the faith, to move through the comfort zone to the growth zone. And the connection and trust and belief other people have to have in you to follow you because the physical sensation of growth is discomfort. So folks, leadership at some level is discomfort. And the sooner you can get comfortable with discomfort, the sooner you become a more effective, efficient, engaging leader. So I wish you great success with embracing discomfort. Good luck on the journey.